perfect. A square cut. That's all I ask of my table saw. And in this case, it's a hard-working, heavy-duty, quality saw that gives you accuracy uh, that is required with quality woodworking. It uh, comes with a couple of outfeed tables as we put them together and a good rip fence that uh, can be adjusted to keep the, uh, keep the cuts parallel to the blade. And it uh, goes out to 51 inches, which should be big enough even for a, a piece of plywood. So that's one indispensable tool that every shop should start with. The next one that I would say is important would be this one here. It's a uh, storage unit, a bench top, and on the bench top next to the wall, the side wall, with the windows shining lights on it, is um, a miter box saw. And the miter box is in the middle of the uh, available uh, window space um, so that uh, it, uh, it can cast a a uh, laser line across a piece of wood to tell you exactly where the saw blade is going to cut it. And that's indispensable. Also indispensable are these fences on either side of the saw, which give you a place to put long pieces of material, uh, woodwork, that uh, you want to make accurate cuts on. And if you need to make duplicate cuts, well, you just slide the slide the stop, lock it off, and now you've got you've got a, a range of possibilities that uh, are going to give you uh, <clears throat> just the measurements that you need for use with the saw. It comes with a dust collector and uh, we store everything. No piece is too small that we don't use it if necessary. And uh, next to that comes a a bay for uh, a mortiser. Now the mortiser tool goes down there and when we need it we pull it up here on the bench. We remove this piece of wood which is part of the bench and now we have a place for this tool to go and reside. The way it works by the way is the uh, chisel that does the work to make a square uh, hole in a piece of wood uh, sits on the outside of the device and then inside the device is a uh, drill and the drill removes the surplus wood and then when you organize it on the stand and pull the hammer down you're able to make mortises of various sizes and depth very good place to put the mortiser and next to the mortiser is a another saw which we don't use all that often but when we need to we do for, for one thing, it uh, is very useful for a slightly larger uh, and uh, wider uh, crosscut. And it has its own dust collector. And uh, it's terrific for cutting dados um, that you want to be able to see as they're being made uh, to make sure that they're lined up as, as, as they should be. Now let's talk about the storage in this. This long uh, bench, uh, is covered with uh, birch plywood down below, and these are cupboards for uh, drawers. The drawers are, are uh, hold any number of tools that we don't use every day, but are there when we need them, and we don't have to go up to the attic and get them. And uh, extremely useful uh, tool storage. All the way along here, we have uh, any number of places to store those tools. So the miter bench and storage is an indispensable tool and way to store the uh, materials needed for a quality job. I hope you'll build one. Recently, we rebuilt the west wall of the workshop. We called it the workshop hutch, but instead of storing teacups and saucers, we're storing glue and sandpaper, nails and small hand tools as a good work surface, and down below, plenty of storage in these full extension drawers, which are nice and deep, 
plenty of room for the power tools. They stay organized and, for the most part, dust free. Now, this project was very popular and it's worked really well. So we decided maybe it's time to rebuild the south wall of the workshop. Now, I remember when we built this, it was about 10 or 12 years ago. Made it in about an hour and a half out of two by fours and plywood. There are some things we like about it, there's some things that we don't. It's a great place for the miter saw. Bolted in place so it can't move around with extensions on each side. I created this cutout so I could see the saw clearly. Now the bench also doubles as a support area for the radial arm. So I can put big long timbers on this and make cuts or dados. Now let me show you what's going on underneath. Let's start today by talking about the draw hardware. This is full extension, heavy duty hardware rated for 100 pounds. Why full extension? Well, we don't want to have to reach under this overhang to get into the drawers. I want full access. You pay a little bit more for the full extension, but it's worth it. Well, this is a long overdue upgrade for the workshop. We're delighted. 